account health, a data-driven way of measuring who's getting value and who's not, who you need to pay attention to, who might be at the risk of churning, and who, on the other hand, might be sitting on an opportunity uh, where you can lock likely upsell. So it's clearly data-driven, and you must have configured it in a way that makes sense to you. But one question which has always come up again and again is, what should be the look-back period? So you might be using a homegrown analytics tool or maybe customer success technology, such as customer success box to calculate it. Now, what should be your look back period when you're calculating account health? What do I mean by look back period? What I mean by look back period is account health needs to be refreshed every day. That's given. It's getting refreshed every day, but that does not mean that it is actually giving you the latest true indicator. It actually depends on how well you've configured it. If you have a look back period, hey, for an account to be in good health, this and this should have happened in the last 90 days. They should have started a new project, they should have started more campaigns, they should have started uh, added new users, whatever your technology enables your customers to do. And, and the look back period could be one day, one week, one month, two months, 90 days, and the entire year. Now, the key point you want to note here is the longer the look back period, more likely or the longer you can likely be in a false positive. So for example, if the customer was using the product effectively, let's say in a look back period of 90, 90 days, about 89 days back, till about the 90th day, you might still be getting a very good health of that account. Whereas in the last 89 days, the customer might have simply stopped logging in. So you want to keep that look back period as narrow as possible. You definitely don't want to, typically in a B2B scenario, you do not want to keep it as one day. Because when you do that, you pretty much over weekends, it's going to go haywire over, over holidays, long weekends. When somebody is on vacation, it's going to give you false uh, negatives. So what we really want is we want to balance it as the shortest period possible. So our typical approach is about two weeks, but it can very well depend from customer to customer. You might have seasonalities. In your case, your technology might require customers to come in only once a quarter. And this might be, you know, set it up and the system works on its own. We've seen in some of the educational, it, uh, education tech, that the seasonality can last up to a year because such is the such is the nature of the business. So whatever your case may be, you want to in that case then have pieces which influence health over a long period if you have to you know go with a longer look back period but you do want to have some shorter notices or some shorter periods for things like simple things like logging in and stuff just to make sure that you're not stuck in the false positive for a very long time so that was from our side but what is your look back period how long do you typically look back every day when you refresh health let us know would love to learn from you and why um, will be very interesting to know and discuss so looking forward to hearing your comments cheers take care